Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Zero one of one back again, and uh, we are back in Space Engineers uh, playing our scrapyard uh, scenario and uh, the past few episodes really. Uh, I've been working on this little little vehicle right here, so little tiny thing, you know, compared to what I was driving before, which is still over there. Um, and then I made this little guy over here just for like temporary movement of stuff. And then this one here I'm making for long-term movement of stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, in this episode we're supposed to be working on the crane. And I've been thinking about it, and I think I have an idea for design. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. <sighs> Man. On top of all that, I am I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm always tired, though, let's be honest. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to make this uh, slightly different version than what I did before. Um, let's see. So I'm going to need... Let's see. If I put all this out the way that I think it's got to go... Yeah, I'm going to have to put this out one first, and then we'll need a piston on the end of that. Okay, so piston... Uh, we'll grab one of these guys, throw that onto there, call that good, maybe. All right, so we have that. Uh, no large steel tubes, but that should be fine. Um, and then this guy needs to share the initial tensor. This guy also needs to share the initial tensor. And this guy does not. Okay, that should create more stable uh, movement of this. Um, very important, especially when you're dealing with subgrids. Okay, so then the next thing, I need to get this thing on top of there. Or, you, you know what I could do, actually, which would make this make so much more sense. Uh, I'm going to run this inverted to the way that I was going to do it, and start from the bottom and work my way to the top. Yeah, I think that'll actually work out really, really nicely. I think. We shall see. I feel like I have to sneeze. I hate that. Um, all right. Uh, actually, hang on. Let me. I think I'm gonna change this up a little bit. Uh, because let's see, we're gonna go into here, and then we're gonna go back to this. Because I think this actually fits in better with the overall shape of this thing. Because you see, like the head here has like a little indent right here, and then this uh, piston also has like a little little bevel right there as well. So, thinking should be alright if I do it that way. Um, okay. Now we're gonna need a tiny merge block because I have to somehow get this thing right here um, connected up into there. And then I want to have it, uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? Um, no, do not lift up the truck. I want to lift this up. Thank you. Okay, now this is the top end over here, and I want that to be outwards. Okay, which means that we have to have this thing here going this way. And then, uh, let's see, I'm going to need something to set it on, so we're going to go and grab some of these little light armor panels, and we'll set that, actually I could just set it on there, to be honest, well, no, it's kind of a subgrid, so, I mean, I don't even know if, can, yeah, I can't place it on there anyway, so, yeah, can't do that, uh, seemed like a good idea, it's not, so, alright, now, uh, I need to see if I can get this thing, on top of there. Uh, okay. So, assuming that I can get this thing done. Uh, all right. So, first things first, we're going to stop it from moving by holding down shift. Or was it shift? I don't know. Control? No. Middle button? No. Right button? Oh, okay. It's not exactly what I wanted. Uh, I need you. And then also we want to move you a little bit farther away. 
Okay, this isn't working exactly as I thought. I thought it was shift to stop it from moving or to lock its position. Uh, nope. Um, shift, control shift. No. What was that button? Uh, it's not that one. No. It's like, I, I don't know. Mm. It would be great if they could like update the HUD. So it shows you like which buttons to use and how to manipulate this to like move it around and stuff. I thought, oh, there you go. It's left click. So you hold that down and it'll stop it from moving. And then we can put this down. There we go. Perfect. All right. So then we can take that out. Take that out. Good. And then uh, let's see. We'll crouch down so we can get under here a little bit better. Make sure I'm only taking out the light armor panel by right clicking, holding, and then left clicking to grind. Nope, I need you. There we go. Okay, so that is now ground down properly. Okay. Next, uh, we need another one of these little beveled pieces here. And then another piston. That piston will go there. Okay. All right. And now, so this piston extended out completely. We'll go out another four blocks, which means we can put another two pistons on here. Okay, and then we're gonna crouch down and make sure that we have all of the inertial tensors on. Okay, and then we'll, sir, there we go. Inertial tensor on, inertial tensor, nope, on, good. Nope, okay, inertial tensor on, inertial tensor on. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. I mean, this is going to have it move out pretty far. I don't know how far I actually want it to move out, though, so I'm a little, little concerned. I need some small steel tubes as well. There we go. Okay. So let's grab some of these. 94, that's, that's a lot, dude. There we go. Uh, okay, so that can get finished up, that can get finished up, that can get finished up, that can get finished up. These also can get finished. There we go. Uh, now we need more plate. Okay. Am I out of plate? Uh-oh. That's a problem. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. It's going to be complicated. Uh, okay, so we're going to take that out. Uh, construction components. Hold on. Keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, I mean, we kind of want to keep all of that, though. <laughs> all right, well, we can start taking this wheel apart because that'll give me a bunch of plates as well. All right, so uh, we have large steel tubes, which I'm just going to throw in here for now because I think that's probably a good place for them. And that's going to fill me up again. Okay. 
That'll be the rest of those. Good. Then we'll pick up these. There we go. Okay, so now that we have more stuff. Uh, all right. So that is good there. All right. Now, do I want all of these to be connected? And then we're going to call this, uh, let's see, that's not the right button. Piston base A1. And then piston base B1. And then this is going to be piston base A2. Piston base B2. Piston base A3. Uh, let's see, piston base B3. There we go. Okay. So now that we've got all of that in there, um, let's see, I'm going to need more power. So, that'll be that, good. All right, now do I wanna join each of these sets? You know, it would be kind of interesting. I don't know if this is necessarily the best way to do it, but I can put in A block right here, right? And then in between here, wait, no, uh, I don't think I wanted to do that. Uh, hold on, just give me, give me a moment. Let me work it out in my head. All right, so yeah, we'll do it like that. And then, uh, let's see, and then I can put from here, that can go there. And then from here, or is this not the way I want to do this? Because ideally what would happen is I would put uh, this next block um, in here like that. And then that would kind of work in here. And then actually, no, I think this would work. Uh, yeah. And we'll go in here like that. And basically I just make it so we, these things kind of like fold in on each other. And so like here I would put, no, oh, that's not the right button. Uh, next one down, something like that anyways. Okay, and then that has to go that way. So it just kind of like, it kind of folds in on itself. Like you can see like the two pieces are right there next to each other but they like just kind of like, I don't know, they kind of fold in to each other, I guess. I don't, I don't know, that's the best way that I can think to explain it. Um, okay, and then that can go like that. And then the other idea behind this is that it should give it a little bit more structure, a little bit more strength um, when it gets kind of retracted. At least that's the idea anyways, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it actually works and if it wants to cooperate or not. Okay, and then we'll get that in there. And then from here, I think we probably want to reverse this. with a 45. Yeah, I think 45 is probably the best option here. Uh, is that on there incorrectly? Okay, no. Yeah, those are together. Okay, good. 
Okay, now I have to get these things to communicate over here on this side. But because I have that block in the middle now, that should make that a lot easier. So, we're going to connect this to this. Small steel tubes again. Yo. Okay, so now those are now locked together. Okay. Picked up too much stuff. Um, all right. And then uh, we're going to do the same thing over here. So I guess that can go there. Rotate this around. Call that good. Okay, now those are locked together. Good. Okay. So there's that. Um, and then, how do I want to handle this part? Uh, I think I would like to go with this, and we'll do kind of like a bevel on the back here. And then this one, of course, has to go onto there. And then we have to get these two to communicate. So we're gonna, and when I say communicate like this, I just mean like joining the subgrids together so that way they become one, one subgrid. There we go. Should be able to pick that up now too. All right, so that. So that should be good. Okay. So now that we've got that, uh, we can go in here and put all these together. Okay. And then what we're gonna do here is these ones should all be sharing inertial tensor, which they all are good. All right, so then uh, let's just uh, there we go. Update that a little bit. We'll have that go up. Wow, that goes up pretty far already. This good. It's very good. All right. And then uh, what this is going to look like is once we get up here. Okay, sir, work with me here. Work with me here. There we go. So you can see like these kind of like kind of come out like blades, I guess. And then if I put this one in here, when they all come back into each other, they'll all kind of like fold up onto each other as well. Which I think should work. And then I'm trying to figure out the proper way to do this, that way we don't. Because like when these things fold up together, I wanna to make sure that they're adding space as they stack rather than subtracting space. Um, so I think the way I've got it set up right now, they're actually will subtract space. So I think I have to flip these around, question mark. Mm. Yeah, let me, let me try it. So then this uh, would have to go out this way. So that way when it stacks, it pushes upwards rather than pushing downwards. Because then if it pushes upwards, that gives us more space in between the different layers because I'm gonna have another piston over on here and then another set of pistons on top of that. So I need to make sure that they all kind of push against each other and add space, not subtract space, because then there's less chance of clang. At least, that's my thought. We'll see how it actually works. Okay, so then if I do that, this has to come out 
This has to come out. Now these are still connected, so that's all good. And then the blade part has to go towards the top. So if we go up here, blade, and by the blade I mean like the edge of this thing is at the top of the block rather than at the bottom of the block. If that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. And then this blade would have to be towards the bottom of the block. So then this would go this way. Okay. And then we're going to have to redo this one as well. Again, this blade has to go towards the top of the block. So, uh, let's see. We'll go that way, that way. All right, and then because I have changed this, that still needs to be like that, but now at least all the blades kind of go in the, in the same direction. So like we go from bottom to top, bottom to top, bottom to top, and then of course there is no bottom over here. All right, so there's that, fun. Um, let's see, pistons, base, we're gonna reverse these again. And then they should slide together all nice and neat. There, there's actually a bit of space in there, so that's good. So you can see kind of like the yellow in between there if I look at the right spot, all right? So there's actually a space in there, which I think is good. All right, so there's that. Um, now, uh, let's hop up here, because now I have to get the mid-pistons huh, on here. All right, um, and then let's see, how do I want that to sit? I think we're going to want... see what would be the best way to do this. Um, basically, I want it to look like one solid block once it's all retracted. So everything just kind of needs to fit in on itself. So I think I'm going to put this in here like this. And we'll even put in this one. Hopefully that's not going to impede anything. And then we'll throw in some more pistons. Piston. All right, now these two are gonna be the mid pistons. Sir, thank you. Okay, so this is piston mid, oh, uh, A. And then this one is gonna be mid piston B. Uh, mid B, and there's only going to be the one uh, because these ones are going to extend. Oh wait, no, maybe not yet though. Hang on, sorry, sir. Bring it all back in. Okay, um, now how can I do this? So I'm going to want again because I want these to all kind of fold up and look nice once everything's in. So I'm going to put these in here like that. And then I'm going to put in these ones in here like that. I think that'll be better to do it that way. Click, clickety click, click. No. It's not clicking. I kind of clicked. Try to click. It's trying to click. Nope, doesn't like me. All right, fine. We will tell you to reverse, and then I'll put it on there. Okay, really, dude? Rude. All right, can I jump on top of here without jumping off of the thing? Huh. Yes. Yes, I can. There we go. I just put in the right one, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that'll fit in there nicely. Um, okay. 
And then we'll put these in there, put these in there, and that should all work. And then we will reverse this one. Okay, fits together. And then we need to make these to communicate. And again, communicate just means joining small grids together. So they become one grid. There we go. All right, um, and then this uh, share natural tensor on, share natural tensor on, good. All right. Now, from here, uh, we're gonna go, I think I just wanna go to a single piston at this point. And then also I need to join those together. Looking for that, there we go. Get the bevel towards the outside there. And again, this is just to make everything kind of fit better. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get ourselves some energy. Now, uh, let's see, we're gonna head over here, and then I need to join the mid pistons together. Uh, pistons mid, save. All right, and then these will be reversed, but I think they're already set that way. Nope, they're not. So I need to set them both. Pistons mid, there we go. Okay, so then that will send that out. And you can see how everything just kind of like looks together or fits together. It's like a nice little block looking thing here. So I'm pretty happy with this so far. All right. And now we are going to need I wonder if I don't know if that'll work though. Um, hmm. Okay, what are the odds that that gets damaged if I do it that way? Good, bad, or indifferent. Um, I. Th think will be okay. You guys are probably like zero. What are you talking about? Um, I'm just okay. So I want a way to sort of stow uh, the vertical part of this crane. Um, and I'm thinking I could stow it in here if I'm careful. Oh wait, no, that won't work. Um, unless I reduce the number of pistons over here. Um, hang on, it's trying to push me off of the crane. Um, the only other way that I could think to do this is to make it so I can turn the dead hinges on and then get them to kind of fold up in the way that they're supposed to. But then how do I do that without breaking things? And then also, how do we get them to flip out without adding another control? Hmm. Now in this sense, it would have been better if I had reversed this and went from the top down, because then I could just have gravity kind of hold that in or let it fall back out. So if you think about it, we're gonna have like a little dangly bit on the end of this thing, right? A couple of dead hinges that allows this to kind of swing down this way, right? 
Now, what I want to do is if they're just dead hinges and they're just kind of swinging right here, I want to be able to stow them, right? So it kind of fits within this whole thing. So what I could have done is rebuilt this from the top down to leave this section in the middle here open. And then all I would have to do is turn on the dead hinges and then they would just fold in this way. And then everything would just kind of get stored properly. I mean, you would keep a dead hinge or I would need a dead hinge on the, uh, actually, hold on, do I want a rotor on that so I can manipulate it? I mean, otherwise, like if it's, uh, if the floppy bits are up on the top here, right? And it's just kind of flopping around and I want to stow it, I would have to bring it all the way around and then gravity is going to hold it down on the top, right? Which means that I would then have to reverse the dead hinges here so that way it goes back up and then turn them off so they go back into floppy hinges or dead hinges, right? And then I would have to reverse it again so that way it goes back on and stows. And I'm just trying to think if there's a, see, cause like if it's stowed on top of here, like gravity will hold it in place. I don't really have to worry about it, right? Which is good. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know, man. <sighs> okay. Um, but if I do that, uh, we're going to need our top hinges. And I'm going to put another three on here. So they go out kind of to the end. And then the floppy hinges or the dead hinges are going to have to be one up here and then one over here. So this hinge right here will only allow it to go straight down and no further. The extra hinge on the bottom allows it to swing backwards as well. So it'll swing the full thing rather than just swinging to here, right? So that's why I need the two hinges there. And uh, I don't know how well that's gonna work. Maybe it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Uh, okay, so. Uh, in that case, more pistons, more pistons. So we got one piston, we got two piston, we have three piston, and then we have one piston and two piston and three piston. All right, now those all need to be done up and then I need to get these to connect, a little communicate, if you will. And I also need to be able to jump up on here. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Can I even jump up there? Nope. Okay. Huh. How do I get up here now? Um, this whole thing is just very, very jumpy right now. Don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I suppose temporarily, um, I could put, nope, not that, go to five, there we go. Uh, we'll put another one of these on here. This is just how I get up on top of here, and then I should be able to just jump. I said, I should be able to just jump. I should be able to, <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. I should be able to just do that. Now, uh, here is another complication here. Uh, we have this whole thing in the middle here. Huh. Actually, hang on a sec. Well, how much... Well, let's extend all of these out and see just how much reach this is. This has got, because we might not need all of this. Apparently, I can't get at that piece. And I'm out of steel plates again. Really? Really, really? Okay. Okay, we'll put our large steel tubes in here. All right. 
point. That should give me a little bit more space. Um, yep, yeah, let's take this out. Huh. Okay, so there's that. Um, we have this whole thing over here that can still rip apart as well. Oh, also, did it, the craters get filled in? They did not. Okay. I thought that these all got filled in. Hmm. Maybe if I leave and come back. Uh, okay, so... Uh, continue what we were doing. That was a terrible jump. Terribly timed jump. Huh. Wow. Nope. Okay. This is like, uh... Nope. Yeah, jumping in this game is not, uh, there we go, not the easiest thing in the world. Okay. Then I still have to complete uh, these things, if they will let me, bouncing around a lot. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, this is going to be piston top A1, piston top B1, also inertial tensor on, inertial tensor on, okay, then we have piston top A2, Virtual tensor on. All right, so piston top uh, B2. Then inertial tensor on. Good. And then piston top A3. Virtual tensor on. Uh, let's see. And then piston top B3 with the inertial tensor on. Okay. So there's that, yay. Um, we can put in probably just a solid block there. And I do have like all of this space like inside of here for something. trying to think if there is a good way to do this. I mean, otherwise I could just like fill in all of this with, I don't know, something. Or I could build up from the bottom. No, I can't do that because that'll break things. Um, no, I don't think there's anything I can do here, actually. Hmm. Huh. Just leave it open. I don't know, it's not hurting anything, right? Okay, and then uh, let's see, for this we're gonna need blade towards the bottom. Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, I'm just building it in my head before I actually build it so I make as few mistakes as possible. I don't know if you guys do that or not. Oh, uh, you know what? No, actually. Uh, let's just go with a full block here. And then, because we want this to kind of go into the other block, or into the next subgrid here.
Okay. And then, uh, let's see, then I'm going to need no, this piece to go here. And then off of this piece to go there. Okay. So it'll get those to sort of sit in there properly. And then we need this piece again. Okay, now I need these to communicate because right now they're two separate grids. So we shall bring this piece in here, that piece over there. There we go, so now they are one and the same. Okay, good. Um, and then I'm gonna need uh, that to go into here. There we go, and then that. Uh, let's see, it goes in there like that. Good, all right. And then, okay, so now these two need to be connected. All right, now they are all one and the same, good. Okay, now from here, um, let's see, how do I wanna set this up? So we've got that piece in there, which is connected there. These are gonna make a new subgrid. So I think I'm gonna want these to be, uh, nope, not those, um, these. Okay, calm down. All right, there's a lot of work that goes into making these things, dude. go. All right. Now we can bring this up over here. And then I want to put in 45s here. And we'll probably run that out to there. There we go. Okay, now these are separate grids right now. As you can see by that line still being there. So now we need to make these communicate by setting them together. There we go. All right. Now that we have this, we're gonna need our dead hinges on here. Um, let me see. Uh, let's see if I can make it up here again. Huh. Hey, it did. Nice. Okay. So let's see. We're going to want this to add more space, which means I want this to push. We want this to push upwards. So if I put in a piece here, blade down, and then I put in a piece here, and then also a piece here with the blade up. That should fold in there quite nicely. Okay, so that's fun. Okay, so now for the hinges. That is not the right hinge, sir. Grab this one. I know I could have just rotated the mouse wheel and it would have found it that way, but you know, it's fine. Uh, okay. So there is that, and then we have to put this one on as our second dead hinge. That's just gonna make the whole thing fall, which is fine. Kind of what we're expecting anyways. Okay, now we're gonna need four large steel tubes. 
Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Uh, we should have yeah six here. Okay. So I do want to make sure that the rotors are built up all the way. And then they will be... Oh, I need more steel plates. Okay. Okay. So, more steel plate. But I think I've used up all of the large steel tubes that I needed. Oh, there's a lot more right there, dude. Okay. Um, apparently, I have a lot of large steel tubes. It is, oh, and I have even more here. Look at that. It's a lot of large steel tubes. I didn't realize I had that many. Well, I suppose if you've got like 15 million super big wheels, it kind of sort of makes sense, right? Um, okay. Is that more large steel tubes? That is more large steel tubes, jeez. Uh, okay. More large steel tubes. There we go. Uh, girders, I don't really care about those right now. Um, okay. So, next thing. Uh, we need to get this thing. This is going to be fun. whole thing's going to fall. Hopefully it doesn't break. Cross fingers. Nope, we're good. And that will roll downhill. I should probably not let it just roll. But it's going slow enough. I think we're okay. Crash. Perfect. Look at that. All right. Uh, so let us get um, yeah. We need to get this all connected again, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, for this part. Uh, because this needs to rotate, I don't know what I can do here. Because if I put a solid block on the end here, it may prevent that from... Ro well, no. Why would it prevent that from rotating up? It won't do that. What am I talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? Sorry, I don't know what movie that's from, but I've heard people say it before, so... All right. So then we'll move that here, and then we'll do the same thing over to here. Nope. Uh, rotate. Um, okay, I'm falling off. All right, so there's that. Um, now I still need to put pistons on the end of this thing. So I need to take this hinge and we'll call it uh, call it floppy hinge one, and then we'll call this one floppy hinge two. They're not going to be true dead hinges because I want to be able to activate these, but for now, we're going to turn these off. Okay. And then floppy hinge number two also gets turned off. And that will slowly angle down towards the bottom, which will be fine. All right. There we go. Okay. Now this is going to need at least two hinges or two pistons, um, so that's gonna be fun. And then, uh, did I say hinges or pistons, dude? I, my brain is not even here right now. Okay, let's see, so I need you to go here. Okay. And then, are these sharing inertial tensors? They should be.
Nope. Not that one. That one should not be sharing an inertial tensor. Because we want that one to be kind of kind of floppy, we want this one to be less floppy. Um, okay. So now we have that. Uh, let's see. And then uh, playing into this. Well, that was terrible. Uh, okay. So that can go there. Not exactly what I had planned, but sort of. All right. So that can go there. So this will be constrained in its movement. So it won't be able to flop around too much to the sides, which I'm OK with. Um, and then uh, let's see. We're going to want this to be. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change this up slightly. And we're going to set this down here. Oh, is that even going to work? Might work. So now we need to get uh, into here and grab these little quarter blocks. Here we go. And that's just going to fit in there like that. And it kind of creates like a little cool little thing. I don't know how else to describe it. Cool little thing. I don't know. So yeah, so that'll go in there. Uh, makes the whole thing look like a single block, which is good. It's kind of what I want. Um, I may want to put armor on here on the sides. I don't know if that's necessary, but I could. Hmm. Uh, okay, so now that I've got this, uh, let's actually set this thing up. Um, actually, hold on. Uh, do we have advanced rotor? Okay, so you are going to be crane, sorry, rotor, crane, base. Okay, and then you are uh, hinge, crane, base. All right. So that'll be good. Uh, all right, so now our azimuth rotor is going to be our rotor crane base. Our elevation rotor is going to be a hinge. Uh, assigned camera, no assigned camera. It's fine. Um, all right, and then uh, we're at, let's see, two, what direction are you currently? Okay, so then our upper, because we're going to be turning lower. So our upper limit is going to be 360. 60. Uh, lower limit is going to be, I don't know, zero. And I think that will only allow me to turn it in one direction. But we will see how this looks. Um, okay. So now if I take control of this, control, there we go. And I go here. All right, so now I have movement this way. I can't bring it any farther this way. And then I can bring it all the way around. We probably want to have it stop here and not go any farther. So what, what distance is that at right now? OK, so we'll make our lower limit 90. And that should prevent it from kind of coming around here and, I don't know, smacking into things. So we can only go to there. I don't like that that's causing damage. But that should only allow me to go from here and then over to here. And then I'm going to have to... Yeah, that's going to be flipped around. Okay. Um... I need to invert these controls. Uh, how do I invert? Hinge log, control tensor, brain torque. Or, you know what I could do? Actually, would that actually fix everything? No. Would it? 
No. Hang on a sec. Remember how I was saying that I should put this like from the top down or whatever? So this is currently inverted the way that I don't want it to go, right? So if I were to spin this around, then it's proper, but then I can't like rotate this properly. So I would have to change that again. But then up is up, down is down with the mouse, which is good. But then, uh, okay, so we're gonna want, let's just change this to uh, no, just negative, whatever. And then this one is going to be whatever. Okay, so something like that anyways. Okay, so now if we go here and we want this to be spun into here. Is that gonna, no, nope, that's not gonna hit anything, okay. So this is roughly the position that we want this to be in. And so this is 180. It's going to be our lower limit, upper limit. Which way are we facing? Okay, hang on. Let's try 180, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how this thing, no, nope. okay, so I want this to go this way, and it is thinking that 180 is, which way? No. Okay. No, we're definitely going beyond that. Okay. So if we want it to be at 180, so 180 is going to be the upper limit. Okay. Sorry. Uh, lower limit is going to be negative 180. No. Lower limit is going to be 270. Negative 90. So we should have like 200. Okay. So we'll control this thing again and, uh, okay, so we can go that way, we can go that way. Rotating it this way, making sure that we go this way and we don't go farther than that. Okay. So that is now good. And then once we're done, we'll just spin it all the way back here. Then it should not go any farther than that. So we'll know that that's where our cutoff is. Okay. And then if I just activate these hinges and I have them set up to go, uh, let's see, where, to go positive. Okay, so then, so then we're not gonna change anything about the limits. Uh, we are going to change this to one. And we are gonna change this one to one. Now, let me head back in here. Okay. Um, let's see, go into the K menu, find our floppy hinges. Apparently there's an incomplete hinge. Uh, let's see, so floppy hinges. Okay, now, if I put in a button, control the floppy hinges and then this will be either on or off so if I hit that that should stow under there and then if I want them to go back to being floppy hinges I just turn them off so that actually worked out quite nicely um, I feel like I should have like a spotlight or something on here so I can kind of move it around. I don't, can I make a spotlight? Spotlight. Like a turret style light that I can control. Searchlight? Searchlight, that's what it is. Does this come in small grid? It does. 
I need a large teal tube for that, dude. I got plenty. <sighs> okay. So, you can go in there. Oh, fancy. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to have to turn the AI control of that off. Or I could just leave it on. I don't know. It could be interesting. Uh, right. And then I'm also going to need some glass for it. Uh, let's see, do I have like a few? I got 55 there, 53 there, 46 there. I don't know. Take what we can. Uh, get you a little bit more built. All right. What are we at? An hour? Uh-oh. Uh, I don't have a lot of time uh, today because I got to do my live stream in like 30 minutes. And I still got to do some prep work too. So there's not a lot of time here. All right. So then if I want my floppy hinges to be floppy hinges... Um, and then also you need to be inertial tensor on, and then this will be final pistons. Uh, let's see, piston final one, and then we'll do another piston over here. Uh, you don't want to go there. You need steel plate to build a piston. Okay. Give me steel plate. All right. Um. Okay. Let's try this again. You don't want to get placed. Why? Um, all right. So let's uh, control this. Uh, we'll sp spin it out this way. And then we will turn that off. And it flops down as we want. Good. All right. All right. So we have floppy hinge. Works out nicely. And then, uh, let's see, we'll put, hey, well, that was a lucky click right there. Holy crap. All right, and then, let's see, piston final one, uh, piston, fine, sorry, piston final two. This inertial tensor also gets turned on. Okay, and then I just need a magnet. Magnet. Should I do a big, big magnet? No, that's way too big. A uh, little magnet. Magnet. All right. And then let's see. Crane magnet. Magnet. Crane. Good. I don't know why all of a sudden that just stopped being floppy. Okay, it is still floppy, it just stopped moving. That was weird. Okay, so now we have our crane that we can now pick up stuff with. Um, let's see, and then I'm gonna go into here, find our crane magnet. And that'll be switch lock. And I think I wanna change that so it does not auto lock. Well, no, it probably has to auto lock. Okay, well, anyways, um, so if I were to Oh, wait, I have to group those again. Um, give me a second. Okay, menu, piston, <clears throat> pistons, final. These should be called like vertical pistons, not final pistons. Um, okay, so let's go here. We'll call you vertical one. We will call you vertical two. And then, uh, let's see, piston, vertical. That still picks those, okay, good. All right, now I can safely extend those as needed. Um, okay, now we have our base piston, we have our mid piston and our top pistons, which we don't have grouped either. 
Okay, so we have our pistons, top, save. And then we need to take all three of these. So the top pistons, the base pistons, and the mid pistons. And we're going to call these pistons horizontal. And we'll save it that way. Okay. So now if I want to manipulate those individually, I can. Uh, don't have to. And then uh, let's see. So if I control this guy. Oh, wait, no. I have to get out of this first. No, get out of this. Go into this. Thank you. Okay, so we have our piston, horizontal pistons. Okay, so this is going to be extend, retract. Or increase and decrease velocity because I want to be able to control when it stops and starts. Okay, and we're going to need our vertical pistons. This is going to be increase velocity and decrease velocity. There we go. All right. So now, if I control this, we can lift this out. And then if I want these to move out, oh, that is, uh oh, we have a problem with the mid pistons. They don't want to uh, close all the way. Hmm. Are they not reversing? No, they're not reversing at all. Okay. Let's go into K menu, find out what's going on with her mid pistons. What is your deal? Oh, because these are Gotcha. Um, yeah, this is going to have to be, can I reverse the input here? Okay, so that goes there. Now, just because I reverse it doesn't mean this is actually going to work though, because I'm changing the velocity, not necessarily. Eh, all right. And then also my hinge is way, does not have enough uh, strength to it. So we have to go into our hinge for the base. We're gonna have to increase, actually hold on, let me just uh, do it from out here. Uh, nope, you, I need you to be much stronger. Okay, so that's the next strongest thing that I can do. All right, controlling, I still can't lift this up. Oh, there we go, okay. So that is where we are. Okay, now for the problem. Um, if I reverse this, that isn't going to change that. Okay, so then the mid pistons. Okay, so let me take those out of the group. Um, okay, pistons, base, no, pistons, horizontal. We're going to delete that. We're going to go just pistons. Okay, we have the base pistons. We have our mid pistons, which are kind of by themselves. We have our top pistons. Okay, so then we're going to take our base pistons and our top pistons. We're going to put them together. Pistons horizontal. Save. Okay, now we're going to go back into here. All right, groups, um, pistons, mid, these mid pistons. I'm just going to reverse their stuff. And then let's see, mid pistons, what is your current speed? 
uh, negative, wait, no, you should be positive 1.5. There we go. Now, I can extend these out, and then if I need to, I can get a little extra distance by changing that up. But otherwise, we can just bring everything in. Everything should sit together nicely. And my thing is broken. Why is my thing broken? I cannot move. Oh, there we go. That's why. All right. And then we're going to turn our floppy hinges on. I should probably change that. And now the only thing that I'm worried about now is if that magnet is going to lock. So did you lock? You did. OK. So we're going to change this to auto lock off. Turn that to off as well. So it just kind of chills there. It doesn't actually go anywhere. So that should work. Uh, and then we'll control this again, set this down, move it over. OK. So that should be good, I think, maybe. Um, yes, it just kind of bouncing around. That's fine. As long as it just doesn't lock, I'm okay with that. All right, so now we have a convenient way to store everything, which is nice. Um, we have our, our crane basically set up, so now we can go grab stuff. And now all I need to do is just work on finishing up all of this stuff, which I can do off camera, because it's just a lot of fiddly stuff. Wait, are you missing a block there? You are missing a block there dude all right so that'll be it uh for this episode hope you guys have enjoyed the building of the crane and uh that'll be all i got have a good one